Okay, here's a question on maximum prices. And this one focuses on the effect on consumer welfare and also producer welfare, which together, of course, accounts for economic welfare. Let's take a look at the question. A government sets a maximum price for a product below its equilibrium market price. What will be the net effect on the economic welfare of consumers and producers of the good? The net effect on consumers and the net effect on producers. Here's a chance to have a go. Press the pause button and come back to me in a few seconds time when you've had a go at the answer. Let's look at the correct answer together. Okay, so this is a question about a maximum price, a price intervention in a market. The price is set below. That's necessary for a maximum price to have an effect. What's the net effect on consumers and the net effect on producers? What do you think? The answer is C. The net effect on consumers is actually uncertain the net effect on producers, we can be pretty sure, is that they will lose. So let's take a look at the reasoning. Here's a standard maximum price diagram. Uh, to have any effect, the price ceiling must be set below the normal free market equilibrium, which we, this one has. Now, in theory, uh, consumers might benefit from the market price being lower because quantity would, the price would be lower than P1 and you'd expect quantity supplied perhaps to expand to Q2. They would want to buy Q2. However, producers will be worse off. They're likely, if there's a maximum price of uh, the ceiling, to contract their supply from Q1 to Q3. And we know their revenue will have fallen as a result and their producer surplus will have declined. They're worse off. So although some consumers are better off at the lower market price, in fact, the quantity will shrink and as a result, we can't be sure what will happen in net terms to consumer welfare overall. The people who are able to buy the product at the cheaper price will definitely be better off. But there may well be fewer of those, obviously, depending on where the maximum price is set and the elasticity of demand. So that's why the answer is uh, C to this question.